Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley here. So today I have some savory meals for you. I did like a sweet tooth version of this like a few months ago and so many of you guys really liked it and you asked me for like a savory version and it took me a while to prepare this because I kind of eat the same things all the time. But it's been really nice trying to actually be intentional about finding new recipes, low calorie recipes, things that help like hit the spot but also help me stay on my goals for my weight loss journey. So this is what I found. This is what I've been cooking. It's really, really, really good and I hope y'all like it. First, we're gonna start off with this shrimp burrito because hands down, it has been my go-to meal for these past few weeks and probably will be going forward. It's absolutely delicious and super simple and easy to make. We're gonna chop up our tomatoes and all the veg that we're putting inside this burrito, which is gonna be onions, spinach, and some bell peppers. Once we have everything chopped up and prepared the way we like it, we can start forming our burrito. We're gonna start by putting on the cream cheese, not too much, but I've used about 20 grams. And then we're gonna sprinkle on some cheese, which I've only used five grams of because I'm also putting on the small Babel cheese. Then we're adding in the veg, the shrimp, and some Faya yogurt up top, which really works well in place of sour cream, especially if you're trying to eat lower calories. Then we're gonna top it all off with this sriracha that is Tabasco flavored, and it's actually been game changer for me. Like, I love that sriracha. <laughs> and now we're just gonna roll up our burrito and cook the dish. So the goal is just to get the tortilla a little bit browned, but I also like to put a top on the skillet just to really encapsulate that heat and ensure that the cheese inside is you know getting melted and soft and gooey just the way we like. After a few minutes I flip my burrito over to brown the other side and honestly that's about it. It's super quick, easy, and oh, so so good okay. This bad boy will rack you up about 363 calories. Honestly, this week I've kind of been eating two at a time for a meal and it's just so worth it to me. It holds me over, it keeps me full, and it's absolutely delicious. Then we have this watermelon, mint, and feta salad, which surprised me to no end, okay? It's a mix of sweet and savory. It's so refreshing, super easy and quick to make, and very low calorie as well. So we're starting off cutting up our cucumbers. I only ended up using about 200 grams of cucumber and 300 grams of watermelon. It's looking very juicy and colorful. <laughs> Now we're adding in our onion, some feta cheese, mint, chili flakes, and salt. And honestly, you could end it here, but I think making the vinaigrette and adding it in really just helps complete the entire dish. So we're adding a little bit of garlic, about 19 grams of olive oil, and a lot of lemon juice, like basically the whole lemon. <laughs> but as you can imagine, these three things just coupled with the rest of the dish just really packs a punch. It's full of so much flavor, it's sweet, it's savory, it is absolutely delicious. This is a really big bowl, do not be fooled. Depending on how big you like your salads, I would say this is like two servings worth. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Mm, it's so good. Mm, mm. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. I might eat the whole bowl. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's a lot. It's a big bowl. It's a lot of food. <laughs> really good calories. Really delicious meal. Perfect. Ugh. Yo, this is fire. Cook it now. Thank me later. This is a win. 
And now we're on to the next dish, which are these chicken breast tenders. I made these before, got the recipe from a TikTok, but I knew there was a way that I could prepare it just a little differently that I think personally makes it a bit better. So we start off with our chicken breast and you just wanna season it well. I chose to season mine with garlic salt, some thyme, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, some herbs, and a little bit of olive oil just to help mix it all in. Then we're using this cornflake cereal, which is basically gonna be used kind of to be like the breadcrumbs. And you can use any cornflake cereal for this. When I was shopping for the cereal to use, I just tried to find the lowest calorie one, because the whole point for me is making like low calorie meals, right? So choose a brand that has lower calories, and then you just mush them up. I found using a bowl and like sliding it along really helped to break down the cereal and get it really grainy and more fine, which would make it easier for the chicken to stick to. Now we're just seasoning up the cereal that the chicken's gonna be rolled into. The main difference I made with making this dish this time around was cooking it in the air fryer as opposed to the oven. It made such a huge difference, added so much more of a crunch, and really made the texture of this dish feel more like a fried food. Because the last time when I prepped this in the oven, I feel like it was a little soft and soggy, but the air fryer helped out so much. And lastly, we have a Mediterranean salad bowl. Mediterranean salads are easily one of my favorite go-to salads. They're so quick and easy and require minimal ingredients to get it done. To make the salad, you just chop up some tomatoes, cucumbers, a bell pepper, and a bit of onion. Then we add some olive oil, some pepper, and feta cheese, and bam that's your salad. It always hits the spot, it never fails me, and it's something I just love sticking to for my diet. Salad's looking good. Let's, put, let's just squeeze a lemon in here. This lemon is always good. Honestly, I know this is a massive bowl, but I will probably finish this in like two days. <laughs> Maybe three, but I can see it happening in two. All right, we got most things here ready. Rice, salad, ooh, chicken. Then we just get a serving of the salad, and on the side we have some rice, chicken, and a dollop of tzatziki sauce right in the center. This has been a go-to dish of mine for a really, really, really long time. Whenever I need something quick, simple, and easy, I turn to this. But the other dishes I showed in this video also work so well. They've been newer to me, but I've been loving trying them and applying them to my diet. If I had to tell you one thing for you to try, oh, the salad is good. The burrito is good. But yeah, the burrito is probably like the easiest go-to for me. Like I'm just a big burrito person. <laughs> But comment down below, let me know which dish you like the best, which one you're willing to try. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, hit that like, smash that subscribe, and I have another video coming for y'all very, 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 very soon. We got videos out the yin yang right now. Videos out the yin yang. Okay, <laughs> I'll chat with you later.